And this is something that's always been contested, like the, the Tyson and Holyfield fights. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the one, the, the ear biting one. Right. Tyson felt he was head butted. When I spoke to Holyfield about it, he said, no, we just went in at the same time. He know he intentionally head butted me because I was intentionally head butting him. Right. You know what I mean? He could have said, yeah, I was head but Mike because Mike was head butting me, but he never said that. He said he was just blocking his head. What's your take on that? Why? Anything that you ever see in that match, you see him head butt me on per. He take his head, bam, like this. Now, here's a guy that head butt me on purpose. And but but ain't nobody seen me head butt him. I said, only thing that only thing in boxing when both people step step in step in together, they they head may clash. Do you feel that yeah, I talked Holy about this before. Intentionally yeah. head buddy. So yeah, 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 I think yeah, I think Holy feels sick. It's okay, but he's yeah. never gonna admit to it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, th I think you know, I think Holy feels slick with that. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. It's his style too. It's his style. It's it's a it's a byproduct of his style. Mm. You know, so yeah, but I think he knows about it. I mean, have you ever been head butted or head butted somebody? No, 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 no. I mean, of course, yeah, I've been head butted. Uh, you know, not intentional. There's a there's a way that people can fight that. They move like that. The head comes first. There's people who fight that way. Huh. And if it, it you, the head happens to be in the way, there you go. You know, that head's going towards your chin. You know, coming down and going up. You know, it's like, how's, how's somebody going to prove you're not doing that on, on purpose? You know, you say, I wasn't doing that on purpose. This is the way I fight. Well, speaking of Tyson, the Jake Paul versus Tyson fight has mm -hmm. been pushed back to November 15th, mm -hmm. AT&T Stadium. Uh, they're actually using 14-ounce gloves instead of 10-ounce gloves. Oh, okay. So I guess this is not a real boxing match. I, I don't know if I would say that. It's not a professional boxing match if you're using 14-ounce gloves, right? Yeah, yeah you, got, you got some pillows on, but... <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to be rough or whatever else, but a professional boxing match, every world champion, everyone mm -hmm. with a belt, mm -hmm. fights with 10 ounce gloves. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? I believe so. Okay. So when you put on 14 ounce gloves, it's an exhibition match. Because I remember at one point they were talking about how this is going to be an official fight. It's going to be on everyone's record. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think you could do that if you're using bigger gloves. Yeah. That seems like it was a sparring match more so exactly. to me. But. Like, like wearing headgear. You can't wear headgear and have it be an official. Yeah. You, know, you can't wear a belt wearing headgear. Yeah, well, you, you can get knocked out depending on how you know, somebody's force. There, yes. There's a possibility. Now, I'm not saying no one yeah, can get yeah. knocked out. Yeah. But a 14-ounce glove and a 10-ounce glove, that's mm. a big difference. That's like 50% more padded, essentially. Four, no, 40% more padded. Your math is not mathing, but... 40% more, more yeah, yeah, padded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, th that's... Yeah, forty true, percent true. more padding. That yeah, is a lot right. of padding. Yeah, especially when you th think about body shots. Yes. Yeah, because I mean, a ten ounce glove with a with a body shot the way that I think Tyson can deliver one could be a big difference. Well, yeah, I don't know if you saw the the matchup uh -huh. and like Tyson kind of shoved Jake Paul, uh -huh. and it it did not look like a very effective shove. It, it kind of. I don't know. And I remember, like, uh, the, Jake Paul even did a video of them, like, mocking. He was like, eh. <laughs> it was like, he was, like, kind of mocking you the judge show. shove? I mean, that's, they think going to be shoving in the fight. Yeah, I mean, listen, if I ever thought that, uh, you know, that Tyson's definitely going to take it, I don't think that right now. I, I think that well, Jake it, Paul... It, it cuts is, both ways. And then then Jake Paul, is, he's, he's punching back with a pillow. Right, you know, so I understand punch that. back with a you know, with a guy who's used to bigger guys hitting him. And, you know, granted, that's a long time ago, uh, and we 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 don't know. That's why I I I give credit to Jake Paul. He's making a match that people are going back and forth like you and I are. Yeah, you know, it, of course we ain't go, we can, we would not go back and forth if this was like just ten years ago. Yeah. You know, we would be like, come on. You know, it's like watching a traffic accident. But but um, now it's interesting because you got age and all these other things. And I go, hey, man, you know, I applaud that. 
you created an interesting matchup. So yeah, we're all going to watch it. There is uh, some articles that have come out recently that basically, you know, uh, you know, based on a lot of research and so forth, they figured out that aging isn't gradual the way we out, like always thought. The human aging actually accelerates dramatically at age 44 and at 60. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, I mean, you know, when I look back at my life, yeah, my 40s, I kind of felt a bit older. You know what I'm saying? Like, so Mike Tyson, I think, is is going to be damn near 60 when this, when this fight starts off. I don't know. He just doesn't quite look the same Tyson, even from a few years ago. I don't think Tyson's going to take it. I, I think I think Jake Paul's going to win. Okay. I'm going to put up some money. Whoever Whoever's watching this right now, DM me. Okay, okay. You know, yeah. I got some money on Jake Paul. Yeah, there's there's so many things. I mean, like, it, it's it's fascinating nowadays that the, the armchair quarterbacks and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I Stuff hope. about, like, you know, oh, it, it's like one, one, one of the things I said earlier is how, how, how it, However, if you think you support the things that support your thought process, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking that now you're looking for, you know, you you happen to notice this this uh, study on people aging after sixty, and well, because you're already thinking that way, right? But you know, if you look, there there be people who defy that. So I feel like everybody's an individual. We don't know. I would, I would, I would like to bet against you. You want to bet against me? Yeah, I'll bet against you. Okay, how much you got? Whatever you want to make it for, hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, gentleman's bet. You know, you know, I like, I, you know, what I like to play for usually is you know, what I do is like I, I bet for things. Okay. Yeah. Well, what are the things we're gonna bet on? Okay, like the the loser has to sing karaoke of the winner's choice. Okay, you got it. Yeah, and you, you got it, and you can't even. I can't even. You, you won't even have to explain it to the audience Yeah, what song it is. You just right. got to get up there and sing it. Right. When you get up on stage and sing Barbie World, <laughs> everyone will know that you yeah. lost the bet. And when you sing Stand By Your Man, <laughs> and I ain't nowhere around there, I'm in the, in the back, I, you're just going to have to just sing it. 